Tyrea, do you perchance remember the day that we two first met? I was wondering what you'd come out with. You finally decided to settle some past grudges, have you? Not at all. I just found it quite moving. Though we crossed blades, contended for our very lives, here we are, standing shoulder to shoulder, gazing out at our shared ancestral home. <laughs> quite. Getting over all that was... a minor miracle. If someone told me a year ago that we'd be doing this, I'd have carved out their spleen for suggesting it. <laughs> Tyrea, about what I said to you before. Yes? Are your doubts... allayed? Perhaps. Not all of them. However, my answer to the question you posed is more or less ready. Tell me then. Melia, you are the last High Entia of Imperial blood. Well, yes, that is true. Although, are you not also... Quiet. You must continue the line. You and none other. You are the light, Melia. You must lead us. Gather our people under your banner. I don't think I ought to be there for that. Why, Tyrea? What leads you to say such a thing? The fact is, I was an inquisitor of the Bionite Order, my very existence prescribed by law. You know what role the Order played in the Imperial family's history. I hardly need to remind you. Tyrea. Understand. I regret none of the deeds I did for you, Mayor. But even so, all that I have done in that life lingers on inside me, a burden I can't escape. All I do is cast a deep shadow on your radiance. As the Imperial Line rises to greet a new age, I would contribute nothing. I'd be a hindrance. How can you... Hate your own self that much. <laughs> if that is the answer you wish to give me, then it would be wrong for me to speak out against it. But I will say this, Tyrea. Imperial blood yet runs in your veins too, as does the mixed blood of Ahoms. We are no different. How could we be? At this point, it doesn't mean a damn thing. You're wrong! Stop talking! I told you not to get your hopes up! Can it really be your intention to keep blaming yourself? Why? Why won't you turn your eyes to the future? Is this what your mother would have wanted? How dare you! You didn't know you, Mayor! You didn't know my mother! <sighs> Mimi! Two of you! Stop flap traps! Nay, nay. What are you doing here? That question very irregardable. Nene simply observes sneaky light from hiding. Miss Tyrea, Miss Melia, sister upon fight is counterpon ductive. What? It's better to hug and make up blinkety snap. If not, Mama Pon, roll up sleeves, then everyone's sorry. Quit, quit this clowning. We are not. Incidentally, Nene is older sister Pon, so even in fight with Kino, always make up swifty quick. But, but it's not because Mama Pon scare into submission, okay? Actually, it's what Nene like to call mature attitude. Ugh. Just thinking about make old scars and Nene itchy, itchy. But, but anyway, bottom line is fighting is bad. So now is when please to hug and make up. Go on, say sorry, Sister Pon. What is this thing going on about? Mother, huh? 
If your mother... If you Maya were here now, looking at us like this, I wonder what she would say. Hey, don't tell me you're taking it seriously. It's spouting nonsense. Not it! Nene is not saying Nene is Nene! What point is there in talking about it now? There's no way for us to know. She's dead and gone. My apologies, Tyrea. I know you put great faith in her. So I just thought... But it's as you say. I'll admit, I never understood your mother's mind. Even at the very end. <laughs> Yemea's devotion to the Bionite Order was how she honored the Imperial line. And also, how she channeled her woe over our ultimate fate. Her spirit contained no falsehood. I see. Due to the loftiness of her faith, Yemea could be very severe towards both me and herself. I'm sure if she could see me now, Attending at Yumea's side, serving her under exhaustion was my whole life. Yumea's desires were mine as well. What's more, the blood that flows in me is in essence. Tyrea? Yumea's blood and her will, are they really doomed to just cease to be? Would Yumea really, would Mother simply allow this? Whatever has got into you? Melia, if you may were here, if she saw me, saw us too, here's how she'd rebuke us. If you wish a future for the High Entia, you must do whatever is in your power. Huh? Changing one's way of life means negating your past self. I tried to change myself. And the path I walked until then, I disavowed. The precious path I had walked as Yumea's loyal retainer. Let me be me then, the Empress's, your shadow. And I'll do what's in my power. So then, you will not change your ways, but still walk alongside me. Is that correct? Yumea, mother kept me by her side for that purpose. She already showed me the road that I should take. I think I'd like to repay her by putting her will into action. For her and for the future of the High Entia. I see. So that's the answer you have chosen. I'm glad that is your decision, Tyrea. Hmm. You may be a fitting vessel to inherit the throne, but as a politician, you'll be much too soft for your own good. If you got blinded by pretty ideals and came to ruin, I could never face my mother. No, I'd never be so... Let's face it. You'll need someone to rein you in when you get too blinkered. Frankly, I find the suggestion somewhat offensive. All right. But in that case, I must make a pronouncement too. I, Melia Antiqua, Empress of the High Entia, by my name do solemnly decree. Be thou guardian, for our subjects and the race entire, act the mistress of unseen shadows, and pledge thy very life to this throne. Swear your might to my bidding, Tyrea. I accept. I will honor this commission, your majesty. <laughs> Miss Tyrea, Nene very proud, managed to apologize very beautiful, major sister bomb vibes. Who, who are you calling sisters? And I'll have you know, I've nothing to apologize for. Meh? But, Miss Tyrea, 
just your proper big bear to Miss Melia, no? You little... Are you actively trying to insult me? Mimé? But Bao have plenty sorry feel. It's just like when Dadapon make apologizes to Mamapon. Whatever. I'm too old for this. The future is within our grasp, sister mine.